What is up, New Beginnings Church? Happy Tuesday morning to you. So great to hang out with you again. Let's dive in. This fun little mini-series, I think it might do a full three weeks, almost three weeks maybe, called The Pathway to Success. It's really a, a verse in Peter, Peter that I jumped on the other day, and I thought, oh, I'd just love to share this and unpack this with you. And so this is what it says. It says that God, His divine power, has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. His divine power has already given us what we need. And then Peter goes on to list eight qualities. Let me read them for you real quick here. Faith, goodness, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, brotherly kindness, and love. And he says, if, 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 verse seven, if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive. And if anyone does not have them, they're nearsighted and blind. But if you do these things, these eight qualities, you will never fall, and you will receive a rich welcome into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so we're just unpacking these big eight things and some of the context around this. And today I want to talk to you about knowledge. Um, And I want to give you just a few of my favorite Bible verses and some of those implications when it comes to knowledge. We believe knowledge is important. It is good to be smart. It is good to uh, be educated. It is good to know things. And let me prove it to you real quick here. Um, Number one is this. Proverbs 2.6 says, For the Lord gives wisdom, and from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. And so let's be clear. We're talking about knowledge. godly knowledge, like knowledge that's going to help us, like Peter said, uh, live a life with an upward trajectory walking in godliness. And so um, we, we want to know that knowledge first and foremost comes from the Lord. The Lord is the creator of the heavens and the earth and all the knowledge that exists in the universe. Well, that comes from the Lord. But here's another one. Proverbs 1, seven says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Wow. Okay. So Proverbs is telling you out of the gate here that if you have some type of cerebral knowledge without a attitude of respect and reverence and honor for God, you're going to miss the boat. And so you actually want to start with a heart that honors God and then move towards obviously increasing your knowledge. Watch this one, Proverbs 18.5, the heart of the discerning acquires knowledge. So that means you and I need to be in hot pursuit of knowledge. It, it, attaining knowledge should not be a passive thing for us. It should be an intentional thing for us. We want to be a discerning people, so therefore we constantly want to be learning, growing in our knowledge and understanding of as many things as we can. Um, here's another one, Psalms 119, verse 66. Teach me knowledge and good judgment, for I trust your commands. What what the writer here in Psalms does, he actually connects knowledge and God's commands. Um, I think the writer of Proverbs is doing the same thing when he connected knowledge and the fear of the Lord. So we need to recognize there's actually knowledge and wisdom in the commands of God, and that if we'll surrender our lives to those, that alone is going to make us a really, really smart person. And then I also want to give you one warning scripture about knowledge, just to be careful, because I do run into people who attain knowledge, and because of that knowledge, they're kind of arrogant, and they're kind of obnoxious. And look at, look at what the Apostle Paul says, 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 1. He says, knowledge puffs up. And so again, we need to make sure that we link our knowledge with, where are we getting that knowledge from? From the Lord. Why is that so important? It's so that we can live a godly life that's pleasing to the Lord and so that we can be fruitful in this life. And so big encouragement for us today is, is that Peter said that knowledge and pursuing knowledge and the word knowledge that he uses there is a sense of a practical knowledge. We want to be uh, excellent in knowing things and knowing how the world works because that's just going to make us better at doing life. Can I get an amen to that? So church, I love you. God bless you. And today and every day, be in a pursuit of, of growing in your faith, but also growing in knowledge. Can I get an amen and a what, what? Church, I love you so much. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.